Hi, good evening. Hi, I'm checking in. Should be on her last name, Dime. Welcome in. May I just see your ID and credit card? Sure. Here you go. Thank you so much. Let me just take a look. I... Oh, no. Uh, Miss Dime, I, I'm so sorry, but your reservation is for tomorrow, and I'm afraid I don't have any rooms available for tonight. What? Oh, well... You do realize this means I'm gonna have to sleep in the lobby then. But, well, let me give a call to some other hotels around and see if I can find alternative accommodations for you. I'm, I'm sure they'll be much more comfortable. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go sit on the couch over there then. All right, I have the number. Awesome, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You have a great night. All right, bye-bye. Um, Miss Dime? Miss Dime? Yes? Great news, I have found a hotel nearby that is happy to match the rate that you're paying for tomorrow night. So I can give you the directions to get over there. And if you want, I can cancel your reservation for tomorrow night, but you don't have to. Well, how come I just can't stay here? I'm sorry, but I don't have anything to check you into tonight. We, we don't have any vacancies. Okay, so let me get this straight. I booked this reservation a little while ago. I'm paying to be here, and I made the reservation for today, but you're telling me to leave because my reservation isn't for today? Do you see how that doesn't make any sense? Can you explain how that supposedly makes sense? Uh, certainly, the calendar date and the hotel business date are not the same thing. Our business date starts at 4 p.m. on the day of your check-in. So you booked for tonight's calendar date. It's past midnight, so your check-in isn't until 4 p.m. this afternoon. So we have another 15 hours until it's time for you to check in. Oh, technically you would have needed to book for yesterday's calendar date to stay tonight. So that is why I have secured you alternative accommodations at a nearby hotel. And if you want to stay with us tomorrow night, then we can certainly do that. Or I can cancel your reservation at no charge. You don't care. You know, I was talking to a friend about this today, that the service at Shmira has really just gone down the drain because no one cares anymore. All you care about is money. You just want to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as you can out of the guests and provide less, less, less. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, and I'm sorry about the situation, but I'm a super high elite rewards guest. I have a reservation here, and, and, and I can wait until check-in if you just let me sleep in the lobby. As a frequent guest of our brand, I think that you would also not want someone to commandeer our dining space as a makeshift bed. You know, it used to be that you could just book a room and the hotel would take care of the rest, but <laughs> here I am now being kicked out even though I'm a paying guest. You are being asked to find alternative accommodation until the time of check-in on the date that you booked your reservation. I have offered you a solution, you can take it or not, but that's all I can do for you. You know what? Just cancel my reservation and you may as well just delete my super high elite rewards account because I have never been treated this horribly as a customer in my life. <sighs> I, uh, why do I even try? <laughs>